I have, I know absolutely nothing about the music writing process. Mm. What, like, where do you get your inspiration from? I know Hannah, yours is very different. Like we had talked about compared mm -hmm. to you two, but like, how do you come together all three of you and kind of write, sit down and write a song and how do all the pieces come together? I think um, everything is very different. I, like once now we've been in the professional writing world now for like two years before writing was just huh. right at your leisure. We'd yeah. maybe come together and be like, I think I wrote a song and you like share it. So I was like, that's cool. Um, now that we do this like full time, it, it's, it's a lot of like reps too of just like writing, writing songs for the genre essentially. Like you write it for yourself, but like we turn songs in that may not be for us, that might mm -hmm. be for somebody else. Yeah. But from my personal experiences, it's hard for me to write something I've not experienced. So mm -hmm. um, I write from a lot of like success and failure in relationships mm -hmm. and things I've experienced in life with family and things I've experienced with heartbreak and um, loss and love and all that stuff is you're really only writing about like four subjects in life I mean it's truly love heartbreak family or just life mm -hmm. and you're trying to every single time write like, it in a different way <laughs> yeah like so because and there's thousands of us doing it in the city of just yeah how do we talk about love oh, differently yeah. um and the only way that's going to be different is Cody bringing his story and Hannah bringing her story and mm -hmm. mine because mm -hmm. my story is different than yours but you'll probably relate to it if I'm mm -hmm. being honest right and so it's really about writing the most honest story that day of like what is the most authentic idea in the room and then everyone brings their authenticity to it as well and like, then how do you make it different <laughs> right. you know like it's like you like you you like I know Caleb's really good at writing the melody first like he'll he'll have this he's the musician he's the one that plays the instrument in our band um and he'll have like a melody down be like I'm really feeling this and that's kind of a neat thing about how we write especially with him that sometimes people come in with the lyrics first and then like let's find a melody with this almost in every situation yeah. you have the yeah. melody first mm -hmm. so then Cody and I will come in or since I live in Oklahoma still, so I'll fly in or drive in for rights, but we've been able to collaborate with a lot of other amazing songwriters here in Nashville too. And so it's cool when they bring in a whole nut, we've never even met them. And then we're in this small four, mm. you know, four by four route. It's like, oh, you had that idea. Okay, now let's add this or let's do this or, you know, not to be rude, like, oh, I don't like that idea. You, you know, some people yeah. do that. And mm. you're, it's just, it's, it's a really interesting at the, at the beginning for me it was a nerve-wracking process yeah. uh, experience because it was like am I am I actually gonna be good at this you know how do I yeah. how do I do this so yeah. yeah and most of the time I like like she said I'll write I'll, I'll, I'll just be playing chords and I'll sing a melody and we'll all feel what the song is right really trying to say it's like okay mm -hmm. this this is kind of sad mm -hmm. but it's a little hopeful too so like what is a story we can say that's like a heartthrob but a hopeful song too and I can relate we we released a single not too long ago called point of view yeah. and it actually was our first one that like got on the radio in Oklahoma and it was like crazy for us and I um, we were sitting in my living room yeah and the song's about a guy and a girl not not getting not ending up together but it's still being okay and him being like it's okay now like I see that you're married and I see that you have kids and I'm so happy for you but you're kind of the one that got away but I'm okay with it like because you're happy um and so I was just playing that thing before we started actually really writing it and it really just fell together like it was like mm -hmm. there's something about the city skyline that looks different now and there's something about this and and we collaborated so well on that and it's a it's a song that feels happy but like it's a heartbreak and it's hopeful like you can feel it all well, it's a play on words of you know we have a different point of view what we're viewing but also a different point of view like now that he's seeing her with somebody else he has a different point of her you 
yeah yeah that was a that was a fun one yeah yeah coming together and it being like oh wow. but we wrote what we felt like mm-hmm. what we heard mm-hmm. the melody feeling like mm-hmm. like so I really trust melody when we're writing of like if something starts moving melodic wise like follow that it's so weird and magical when like you feel like you catch a song like mm-hmm. like legitimately like you're playing and it's like you try to catch it like I don't know how else to explain it. I'm just like I can hear it in my head and I know where it's going like it's like chasing this little mm-hmm. yeah. I don't know how to explain it I mean other songwriters know but it's like you'll freeze everything to see if you can catch this song like right. and then make it forever a song it's crazy 